Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review some of my uh, photos recently taken with my new A7R2, my new used A7R2. Uh, let's check out the image quality and uh, everything and uh, maybe tell you the story behind the photos. I don't know. Let's see. So I was ex very excited uh, to test it out after I first got this A7R2. Uh, I mean, it's been my dream camera for for years, yeah. Who doesn't want a seven R two, right? Sony fanboys, raise your hands. All right, this is. Uh, I was. Uh, I took a walk, uh, one random day, uh, random, random noon, probably a Sunday because there's no people on the street. Anyway, this is a new shopping mall or some some kind of a concept mall, just built in Mass Magento, uh Center Mass. Um, I took take a look at the uh, building because everybody's testing sharpness against a brick wall, and that's what we we're doing right now. I use the Sony eighteen. No, I'm sorry. I use the Sony eighty five mil f one point eight that lens uh, for the entire day's shoot. Uh, some videos, some photo. I've, I actually I made a video already. I included some of these images, but today I'm gonna just specifically talk about these pictures. So I used uh, most of the time, most of the time I used the uh, aperture at f5.6 to f8. Uh, never been higher, never been lower. I mean, sometimes I should look at f1.8 to get bokeh, but yeah. Uh, in general, I just shoot above 5.6. So this is very nice and sharp. These parts, so obviously it's in focus, but these parts are are out of focus. Obviously, I could have used maybe f eight or f ten or something. This this I think was f five point six. If I can see the aperture here, it's a little bit slow. It's loading because the fire is huge, or is it? Is it huge? It's only 13 megabit, megabit, mega, what's it called? Megabit, mega, megabytes. Yeah, that's the word. Holy moly. Oh, I have 3.2. I'm sorry, I lied. All right, I tried. Okay, I tried to shoot at 5.6 and above. I think the following ones are 5.6 and above. This one's at 4. I mainly focus on the corner. And the sharpness is really stunning. Um, it's beautiful. It's really sharp. You can zoom in all the way here, and it, it still looks decent. And that's 85 mil on the A7R2, ladies and gentlemen. Two words, really sharp. And let's see the corner. It's also very sharp. F4 is already a pretty nice corner to corner. Look at this. There's uh, chromatic abbreviation every every can't pronounce the word next picture all right still focusing on the on the corner wow look at this it's really sharp it's crazy sharp oof oh look at this all right you can see how the tile was uh connected together you can see in the little gap the detail in the gap. Just look how, how much you can zoom in. And you can crop in like this and still is a decent image. Alright, so now it's at f4 again. This one, f6.3, because I saw there's a foreground, there's a background. Let's include everything in the shot. And see the corner, it seems very sharp. And uh, yeah, I believe it is sharp. Let's see the background here. It's also pretty decent, decent sharpness. Uh, you can clearly, very clearly read what's written there. Uh, this nozzle is a little bit too small. What does it say? Selfie? Memory? What? Can't tell. Next picture. So I'm just Cute little scene. Uh, I focus on the tree instead of the buildings. The entire picture was a little bit off. 
Uh, this is the bench. It's okay. But the tree was really in focus, it was really sharp. The tree was the focus point. Or is it? Where's the tree leaves? It's really nice, isn't it? Five foot six. Yeah, focus on the trees. Well, you can see this is blurred. This is in focus. Oh wait, this is in focus. I'm sorry, this is in focus. Wow, look at this. Oh, the sharpness is good. Five point six is really good. Is it picture blurry or is my computer still loading? Next one. Next one. I'm trying to find some interesting angle. Okay, I'm not that artistic. Can't really uh, invent something really beautiful. I think. Um, I don't know. You might get sharper image if you zoom in in Lightroom. But that looks great though, that looks great. I'm very happy about it. Let's stay up here on this one. Da, 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 da. It's all about those buildings. Info, come on. What are you doing? A little slow. A little slow. Okay, next picture. This is a Christmas tree in a shop, in a souvenir shop. What kind of souvenir? Uh, souvenir for the Venice football team. Lino Sonego. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the sharpness. You can just crop this image and use it as a profile picture. <laughs> It is so sharp. It is so much zoom, so much crop cropability. Ooh, look at this! Oh, look at this sharp. Yeah. Um, when I was shooting this image, there was a little bit hunting, focus hunting. It the, the eighty five mil is a little bit uh, doesn't know where to focus going back and forth back and forth uh, yeah so that was weird don't know why next one this one I shot at f1.8 to get a maximum bokeh even at f1.8 it's super sharp let's check out the aperture I hope I didn't lie I don't think I lied because I, I remember specifically I was trying to get a bokeh uh, okay. Yeah, it looks just awesome. This is how uh, 42 megapixel look like. This is a crap image. I don't really like this image, but we can zoom in. Just show you how, how much you can zoom in. Yeah, I like this. I like this is a pretty nice, decent picture. I mean, it's not mind blowingly uh, crazy zoom it's not like you can zoom in like this and still see every single detail you see uh, everything perfectly sharp no that's not 42 megapixels it's not gonna do that magic for you it's just uh, maybe a little bit more it's like you zoom in like this it looks like a 24 megapixel picture without zoom so it looks all right so don't expect every detail to be perfectly sharp when you zoom into the picture. It's not gonna be that way. But when you zoom in on such a tiny spot on a huge picture, you can still get a detail, then you know you, you have the great lens and great camera. Uh, at least that's what I hope. I don't really I don't really know what I'm talking about. Nice little shop what shop i don't know 
random street views and lifters. Uh, I don't know. It seems like a good subject to test the sharpness, don't you think? Because everything is straight, machinery. So cool. Boring. Also, this way I can see how sharp it is when I zoom in. Don't you just love those textures of these images? So dang sharp. If I didn't sell my A7, old A7, I could have uh, made a test, like a comparison, see what the difference, what the difference does it make on 24 megapixel sensor and 42 megapixel sensor. But right now I have nothing to do a fair comparison because I have only the A6300 uh, beside my A7R2. So you cannot really compare these two because the focal length um, yeah, you can find the uh, equivalent focal length for uh, for uh, the X6300, but it just feels a little bit off. Like I would prefer to make a video of both full frame. You can use the exact same lens, and you can see the sharpness difference. Uh, how much you can zoom in. Right now, I'm I'm really not able to produce this kind of uh, comparison. For now, maybe. I can find another A7. Uh, I can borrow or something. Maybe someday could happen. Uh, that would be very interesting. I should uh, same picture on the same equipment. And just to see what difference does make pixel actually make pixel make. Should I blur out the license plate? I'm sorry. I really like the feel of the car. It's a really vintage look. Very cute. A little bit of warm color. Sharp, sharp. Are you sharp? Are you blurry? Are you loading? I really I can't tell if the picture is loading right now or not. Maybe it is. Strange. Okay, next one. Boat. River. Ducklings. This one, I think I shot on the crop mode. Just to get more detail, like get closer up to ducks. Uh, I believe. At least uh, when I shot the, yeah, I think this is in crop mode. At least when I shot the video of these ducklings, I was using crop mode. Random hallway, random building, random building trees, and this is another day. Um, oh yeah, these these ones are shot on the eighteen to one hundred five lens, so everything is in crop mode, and you can see the difference. In crop mode, it's just less sharp. You can tell, and the more noisy. And also, it, it doesn't help that that day is uh, foggy like this, really foggy. But still, you can see a lot of detail. It's very nice. 18 megapixel. So when you're using crop mode on A7R2, you still get 18 megapixel, which is very decent. You get some uh, some uh, big DSLR, and they they give you, they result only 18 megapixel. So so it's decent. Is that a uh, Oh, octopus. Uh, can't you can't really say this is sharp. But I would say it's decent. Like you can use these pictures. You can. I don't know if you are a photographer, you can use them. It's not gonna be horrendous. <laughs> what am I saying? What is a tree? It's still very nice. All I'm saying is that I'm a potato, I'm not really artistic, and I can't shoot interesting stuff without fancy pick, uh, gears. Uh, nice and sharp. Next picture. Foggy. Don't really like these foggy pictures. Just can't see the detail. Let's see, we zoom in. 
I see. Okay, remember this picture. There's a similar one coming up with 85 mil. You have to remember how do they look. This is also on the 18105. I zoomed all the way in to get detail on this this little thing. Um, umbrella thing in Venice. Uh, I still haven't figured out what what it is. Is it umbrella or is it dragon? holding umbrella ball with it in his mouth strange this is a knight this one was it also on 18 to 105 honestly i don't remember because i shot a similar thing with the 85 but the file info is not coming up it's not okay never mind these ones these are on the 85 now so this is a full frame mode. Should be able to see more details and zoom in a little bit more. Uh, yeah. Yes. Remember the picture I told you to remember. Then I can see the comparison. This one and that one. Next. It's a really random shot. Oh, so sharp. So me. Nice and sharp. You can see people's face so clearly. So easily. A picture. Is that at one point eight? I was focusing on this. Wooden steak. Uh, yeah. There's some purple fringing, a little bit. It's not a big problem. Looks nice. Nice background separation. Accidentally focused on the windshield of the bolt. Is that a windshield of bolt? <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. Alright, I have a picture on the, on the water bus. I was riding a Vaporetto, the water bus, took some shots. Very random. This is the Rialto direction. That's the Rialto bridge. Just a tiny little tip of it showing up. Uh, but yeah, that's a lot of zoom. You can, you can zoom all the way here, and this is still a very nice picture. Wow. Yeah, it's actually a very useful. You can crop a picture like this. It still looks decent on the full uh, full HD monitor. Oh, I should really test this on my 4K monitor. There's a little gondola service point. You get a gondola here. Uh, yeah. Next. Next. This is in a bar in low light situation. It's really nothing interesting. A little bit of Christmas tree decoration thing. Also was showing in my video. This is nice and sharp. Love this. Low light shoot. This the highlight is overexposed. I think I didn't bother to fix it in post. Okay, these photo, these ones, the following ones are from another day, uh, the New Year's Eve. Let me see. Um, which lens did I use? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, the 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter f 1.8. Let's see how that lens do, does. Uh, two. That's the fireworks show on San Marco Square. There are like two millions of people. I hate that. I hate squeezing through people. Uh, I get firework. Look at that. What a pretty firework. You happy now? Is it worth it squeezing through people? Risking of losing your wallet? Or dropping your phone on the, on the floor and never pick it up again? 
uh, see in the background you have the church what's it called San Giorgio or something nice and sharp I don't know if it's because I applied sharpness in a post but that's how it is but look at the, the amount of noise that's a lot of noise bro that's a lot of noise another church I don't know I feel like the high as ISO performance isn't as great on a7r2 check out this one Definitely did some fixing in the post. That's how it looks low light. And I cropped that image already. So now it's cropped. And this is some uncle squares, the the big big clock tower. Yeah, you can see that's a lot of details. Even though it's very noisy, you can tell it's it's sharp. It's just the low light situation. All our situations here. Uh, some basilico, a big church, and some aqua square. A particularly good image. Some random street shot when I was getting there. Vendor on the street. Damn, that's sharp. He was licking his hand, his palm, something like that. There are beers, snacks, sometimes there's music, people dance here, just a little bit, not, not that much, just a little bit. And there's a long line, I don't know where these fancy people are going, there's a long line, they're trying to get on a boat, some kind of a gondola tour, or a taxi or something. Um, oh my god, the blind eye, it's so bright. These are some of my my very first shots with the A7R2 because the camera arrived that evening. I picked it, I picked it up and went to the party. So these are some of the first shots. This is a really really boring, unremarkable shot. What did I focus on? Did some editing on this one. Pretty sure you can tell. Still is noisy. I wish I could stand still to use lower shutter speed. Um, but when you zoom out, it looks really nice. Also, the tree looks lit up. It looks like there's artificial light. Yeah, because there's artificial light. It's not controlled by me though. It's uh, the buildings and, and the square and stuff. But yeah, the tree looks interesting. So. Um, didn't like this picture, so I, I, I don't think I did any tweaking on this picture. It's just how it is, straight out of camera. Next one, just a typical door focused on the, the these branches and leaves instead of a door. Another bridge, and that's it. That's the review of this. Uh, it's not even a review, it's just showing you how, how they look. Um, I'm gonna do more tests right now. I only test with the 85mm, 50mm, and the 18 to 105. Um, I'm expecting the new lens, the new full frame super zoom 24 to 240. Super excited about that, and I'm gonna do a test. Uh, using that lens on a 7 2 against the 18-105 on A6200 to see which one is better, which one is sharper, at least from 18-105 range. 18-105, no, 18-105 is actually how much? 27 to something, 130 or 50 something. Let me see, 105 multiplied is 1.5. Uh, okay, to 157. And I have 100, 100 extra zoom range on the super zoom lens. So yeah, I hope the sharpness is gonna be good so that I can justify the the cost of a 
variable uh, variable aperture lens. It's uh, it's the same cost as a Zeiss uh, twenty four to seventy right now a used one. So I I could go for the Zeiss, but I wanted to have the super zoom. I wanted to have a lot of zoom range and also I um, yeah I don't know. It's just feel like it's more fun. Uh, yeah, it's more fun. Uh, you don't have to have the best image quality, but you must have fun, right? All right, that's it for this video. It's a little bit long, 25 minutes, about to, to be 26. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe and like and comment. And let me know how you think of this lens, this camera, this. Uh, um, do you have a ASMR2? Are you are you planning to get a ASMR2? Do you have any questions regarding? The cameras and lenses I use and don't forget if you want to buy you can purchase uh, via the link Amazon link I listed in description and I make I can make a little bit tiny little bit commission of it no matter what you buy you can click in uh, through a camera link and you buy a computer and I can make some little bit of money anyway so that's very nice if you want to support support me uh, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.